Yo, what's going on, YouTube? Guard up on defense here, back in the video today. In this video, I'll be going over a, another point forward build, but this one is with a different pie chart. And honestly, in my opinion, it's a little bit better. You lose a little bit of dunking, but you're going to gain a lot of shooting, so I feel like it's going to be a little bit more effective on the offensive side of the floor. And the defense is about the same, so it's not much of a difference. But yeah, so... The weird thing is, you'd think that only the pure yellow is going to get 30 playmaking badges, but you can actually get it with this pie chart. Only at small forward, though, you can get the 30, so we're going to make another small forward. And the pie chart is all the way at the bottom. It's the mostly playmaking with some shooting. And there's two different ways I'd say you can make this. You can either go like 6-5, or you can go uh, just almost, I think it's like 6-6.5. Six, six so it's kind of up to you for that, because it's... One of them gets a standing dunk, and one of them doesn't get a standing dunk, but it gets a bit more defense, so... Kind of just your opinion. So you're going to get 19 shooting, and then you want to drop your mid-range by a 10 and go up back 3. Uh, you get 19 shooting, so 73 mid-range is fine. You're, it's not a big deal. You get a post fade instead, which is really nice. That's kind of what I wanted. And then playmaking, ball handle, pass accuracy, and post control. Ma max, those, or max out pass accuracy and ball handle, and then go... I think it's 69 post control. You get 30 badges. Super nice to have 30 still on this build. And then defense perimeter lateral steal block. Defensive rebound. Interior. And then you can go up to 31 old bar to get 8. So this is where you can kind of decide if you want a standing dunk or not in your player. If you're going to go with the 6-5, you don't really need the standing dunk. But if you want to put the standing dunk on your 6-6, six, six, I would say you could do that. So what you're going to want to do here with your finishing, max out the dunk and then go to a 61 layup. So this is why I say you don't need it. So if you're going with a 61 layup and you make sure you go barely and then go all the way down 1.96 meters, you're going to get past the 70 layup. So if you want long athlete, you can get that. And you're still going to have pretty solid interior. Shooting's a lot better in this version. And you get a little bit better ball handle as well. So I'd say if you want to be a little bit faster and have more kind of offense on your build, then you can go with this one. And you're still going to get a 70 dunk, which means you unlock reverses off one. And you get limitless takeout bronze. You're going to be able to activate quick drops off one. And all these other animations that you wouldn't normally be able to activate if you don't have it on. So make sure you use your one finishing badge for limitless takeoff. And just make sure you have that 70 dunk rating. And that's why I'd say to go max wingspan. Because you're still going to have an 84 three ball and 90 ball handle, which is fine. And 80 perimeter, 84 steel. Really solid. And then for the takeover, definitely go with Playmaker. If you want Sharp, you can actually drop a uh, Wingspan by one, and you can get Sharp. So it's really up to which one everyone you want to use. I wouldn't recommend Shot Creator for current gen, but Playmaker if you want to max with the Wingspan, then Sharp if you go down by one. Now the other version of this build is you lose one defensive edge, and I think it's down to right about here. This is if you want the Standing Dunk. So you're going to go right here to Standing Dunk, put that up to 39. And then these two points, I mean, you can just put them wherever you really want. I'd say probably just put it either in interior or layup or mid-range, even if you want your mid-range up. I'm just going to put in layup for now. And then the height is 1.99 meters. And you're going to see that when I put the wingspan up, you should get to a 41. It might be, yeah. I'm pretty sure 41 standing dunk gives you the uh, two-handed standing dunks, and then 45 gives you the one-handed. So if you want a standing dunk on the build, be sure to... Go with this one. Uh, you're still going to have an 82 3 ball, 85 ball handle. So, really solid there. You got great passing. Uh, your fade is still really nice. You got the finishing that you need. So, it's really just kind of dependent on what height you want to go with. Me personally, I would probably say I don't need the standing dunk. And you're going to want to go 62 here. Actually, you might not be able to. You're going to have to. You're going to have to lose out on long athlete if you go with this one at the same height. If you really are concerned about not having long athlete, even though I think default swing is better. But if you really want it, you can just go with the shorter version in my opinion. Uh, this is personally how I'd make it. I go right here and then drop the weight enough to get 87 speed. And you still get your 70 dunk, you get a 69 layup so you don't get long athlete, which isn't a real big deal to me. Uh, you're still going to have everything else the same pretty much your interior is about 50 which isn't really that bad uh, your rebound will be 75 so in your 6-6 six, six, you'll be able to get rebounds your vertical is not that bad either and here you can get sharp with max wingspan so if you want to go sharp you can do that and i probably would recommend sharp for a lot of people unless you're really a person like me who likes to pass the ball a lot and things are going to get play take a lot more 
And obviously play take can kind of bail you if you get ankle breakers. But I would just recommend to go with spot up shooter for a lot of people. And you can see it'll still be a point forward. So yeah, <clears throat> I actually think I might make this point forward over the other build I made for the video on that green and blue pie chart just because I feel like this is more my play style. I don't need to go for content dunks, it's not really something I do. And being able to have that high amount of playmaking badges is just more important to me because I feel like 16 isn't even enough in this game. But yeah, hope you guys did enjoy. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe. Hope to see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.